So I play an Iron Man character, and my current Iron Man rules are no picking up items from the ground, unless you've already thrown them there, so loot bagging is available. No using of the market, no player trading, except for exchanging Dijon items once you've already completed the Dijon quest. Only team hunting with reasonable teams, so you are an active participant, you're not leeching off of higher levels just to gain experience sitting in the corner. And completion of high profile quests like Yalohar, Poi, Inquisition, and Wrath of the Emperor, you need to be an active participant in the shooting clearing team. So with that being said, our goal here is to get Pirate Outfit. In order to get Pirate Outfit, you first need to complete Mariana Quest. In order to complete this, you need a full Pirate Set. So the Pirate Set can be obtained from the regular Pirates. However, the boots can only drop from the Corsair. And they're about a 0.1% drop rate, so pretty rare. Then in order to get Add-on 1, you need peg legs, hooks, and eye patches. These come from all of the potential pirates. And then finally, for add-on 2, you need a drop from each of the four pirate bosses. Now, the reason that this is so difficult to do on an Iron Man, in fact, I'd argue that it's probably the hardest outfit to get outside of endgame drops, is because of the way that the bosses work. You can kill a boss for completing Raymond's pirate task, and you can only do this pirate test three times. However, when you go to kill the boss, it's a randomly selected boss. So you may kill the same boss three times, you might kill the same boss twice, or you might get lucky and kill three unique bosses. However, you need a drop from all four. That's where the problem ends up. So in order to get this Iron Man style where you collect everything yourself, you will have to kill at least one pirate boss during the Liberty Bay pirate raids, depending on how lucky you were with Raymond's pirate tasks. I just so happen to get lucky enough to have this happen. Wait, who the hell was that? So here you can see that there's a level 200 plus EK that just shows up. He comes and checks out what the hell is going on. But little does he know that there's actually a second spawn wave. 